the box car was heavily in my mind because that's the transition from being a human being to becoming a number. The Haydens now exhibit made its way to McAllen through a traveling cattle car replica with moving holographic images and narration by two Holocaust survivors. The International Museum of Art and Science hosted the exhibit in partnership with the San Antonio Holocaust Memorial Museum, Temple Emanuel, and the city of McAllen. Annie Holland Miller, president of Temple Emanuel, was eager to see this exhibit in McAllen. It seems that our world is so divisive. Um, there's so much hate. Hate is very prevalent in the world. And I like to believe that a lot of that is based on ignorance, on not understanding, not knowing. Holland says for more than 70 years, Temple Emmanuel has been home to more than 100 Jewish families, young and old. I feel very lucky to live in a community that is so diverse, that is built on diversity, that um, we celebrate, we don't just tolerate, we celebrate, we work to understand each other and respect each other. During a 26 minute, 360 degree immersive presentation for groups of 20, visitors were exposed to the development and aftermath of the Holocaust. This is an event where we can all come together and it doesn't matter wh who we're talking about, you know, hate just has no room or space in our community. And uh, it's important that we stand by all walks of life and ensure that hate does not happen here. The Holocaust Memorial Museum in San Antonio worked with officials at the city of McAllen to bring this exhibit to the city. This is indeed a momentous day for the museum and for our community. And Fortescue also made the announcement at a press conference to welcome the Hate Ends Now, the cattle car exhibit that the International Museum of Art and Science, alongside 40 other museums, received reaccreditation honors from the American Alliance of Museums. It's also recognition for the role that we play as a relevant and engaged community partner. And the Hate Ends Now cattle car exhibit is a perfect example of IMAS carrying out its community partnership role. The Holocaust Memorial Museum of San Antonio, the only museum of its kind in South Texas, opened its doors in 2000. All of our educational programs through the Holocaust Memorial Museum focus on the lessons from the Holocaust, which pure and simple is about hate. It's about where our words can lead and our actions can lead. For Rabbi Nathan Farb of Temple Emmanuel, having an exhibit in our community makes it easy to share with the entire Rio Grande Valley. The message of this exhibit could not be more powerful or more timely. It is um, so important to understand that in the Holocaust, there were six million Jews who were murdered by the Nazi regime. But it didn't begin with murder. That is where it ended up, but it began with simply dehumanizing from one neighbor to another. According to director Leslie Met, they want people from all walks of life, religious beliefs, and the younger generation to learn from this tragic event. We are now 80 years away from the Holocaust since it ended. And it really is important for our younger generations to have a better understanding. This is real. McAllen resident Shirley Pippen attended the Haydens Now exhibit with members of the First Presbyterian Church in McAllen. I thought it was put together in an amazing way that must have been very difficult for all of those. And um, the pictures themselves were just heartbreaking. For others like Susie Lee, who knows about recent racist attacks on the Asian community, the exhibit hit home. Being a minority, especially after COVID and all the increased hate crimes towards Asians, I, I appreciate this exhibit so much and it resonates so deep because we as humans forget so easily and this is a constant reminder that it happened, it was terrible, it still exists and we need to take the proper steps to prevent it from happening and educating our children to not make the same mistakes. Rabbi Farr believes the Rio Grande Valley is part of a community that welcomes everyone. It's our hope that the message, hate ends now, will ring true and that this will help to bring about that mindset and that uh, change in ourselves, in our hearts, and in our world where we can say hate ends now and we will not repeat 
the mistakes of the past. The Haydens Now, the cattle car exhibit, provided McAllen residents and students an opportunity to relive the first horror of the Holocaust by stepping into the cattle car and hearing the chilling memories of those who experienced and survived it. With this exhibit and the community of partners that it took to bring it to IMIS, McAllen is part of those who pledge never again, ensuring that this history of hate does not ever repeat itself again.